Hi guys, today we're going to do an interesting video. We're going to be comparing two cameras. Now here I have is my Sony ZV-1, which costs about $750 and has an effective megapixel about 20. While here I have my A7 II, which has an effective megapixel about 24 and costs about $1,400. In terms of production date, it varies quite a bit. The Sony ZV-1 was made last year during May, while the Sony A7 II was made during 2014 December, which is probably the year end of 2014. So there will be some color differences between these two cameras and uh, we're going to compare and play a little simple game between the photos that we're going to take with these two. Now I won't be telling you guys which camera is shot for which photos, I'll just label camera 1 or camera 2. At the end, once we go back to the studio, I'll give you guys the results. So just try to keep a guess and see how many you can get it correct. If not, let's explore this place. Alright guys, I think it's about to rain. Actually, it's raining. Let's head back to the studio and do some comparisons and see how many you actually got it correct. So now that we're back with the studio, before we move ahead with the results, if you guys enjoy this content and would like to support me, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Now, let's talk about what we get out of these two different cameras. Now for the context of the results, I need to let you guys know the lens that I've been using. Now for my A7 II, I've been using the kit lens of the 28-70mm to mm FE kit lens. While the Sony ZV-1 is shot on the inbuilt lens of a focal range about 24 to 70 mm So the focal ranges are more or less quite equal. The photos that you see are also in JPEG and not much editing has been done other than slight cropping and brightness to be able to have a fair side-by-side -side comparisons of the photos. Without further ado, let's see how many photos you guys guessed correctly. So if you guys got 70% or more correct, 
I guess you guys are probably content creators or professional photographers to some extent. But for all those who can't tell them apart, let's break down two key differences. Number one, highlights and shadows. You can see from this photo that the full frame maintains quite a lot of details in the highlights area, especially on the yellow ball. And even though they are both shot at f4, the full frame still maintains a bit of bokeh as the blue ball at the back is slightly out of focus. As for the shadows, in this set you can see the gradation of the shadow from dark to light. And this will be the most jarring example. As you can see in the shadowy areas, the stone maintains much more textures and details. Number 2, Color Signs and Skin Tones Now in terms of technology, both of these has a 5 year gap. This was made in 2014, while this was made in 2019. During this time, Sony has made improvements and adjustments to make skin tones more natural looking. The photos that were taken on the A7 II generally look more green and cooler than what the eye sees. While in terms of color temperature, the Sony ZV-1 photos will look much warmer and slightly richer in the tones which undoubtedly will reflect in the skin colors. From this cell portrait, you can see that the colors on my skin is much warmer and pleasant on the Sony ZV-1 compared to the full frame A7 II. But for the issue of color temperature and accuracy, it can be edited if you guys have Lightroom or Photoshop. But for all those who want something out of the camera, the Sony ZV-1 will definitely do it much better. So let's conclude. If you quietly spot the difference between the photos, I guess you should stick with the Sony ZV-1. It is two times cheaper and the photos come out more natural and it has an overall lighter profile compared with the A7 II. Not to mention the A7 II is one of the lightest and smallest full frame cameras out there. Nikon, Canon and Fuji has much bigger full frame cameras. While the Sony ZV-1 is so small, you can just slide into any pockets that you have. But, but if you can tell the difference in the photos, the full frame camera will definitely serve you better as the raw footage that comes out of this is twice the size of compact cameras. Which means more data that you can work with. Because after all, it has a bigger sensor inside the camera, which reflects in the details of the photos. The A7 II full frame camera, even up to the date, is still one of my most beloved camera because actually I do a lot of my full photography shoots with it. For 1400 USD, is indeed one of the most worthy investments that I've made that helps me with all of my paid shoots. And if you have more bucks to spare, you can't go wrong if you go for his older brother, the A7 III. It has better colors, performances, especially in video. If you have enjoyed this video and want more comparisons, I actually did a video over here which compared both of them in prints. I printed both of the photos out in A3 and you will be able to see some of the details that I mentioned reflected on a printed form. And if you prefer short form content, I also have a TikTok account over here which you can check out all of the content that I've created which are probably less than a minute. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.